Hey folks, I'm Eric, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing a tablet actually sent to me by XP Pen. So they sent me a Deco Fun tablet. This is the large tablet. I do believe that they considered this an introductory tablet just because, I don't know, the packaging and the price and everything, and we'll get into that in a second. Here it is. I don't understand how I made this so smudgy so quickly. This is a large size in their Deco Fun series. Large runs you 10 inches by 6.27 for the active area. Small is 6.3 by four. Extra small is 4.8 by three. I'm happy that they sent me the large one. Wacom, Wacom, Wacom? I'm gonna go with the Waluigi Wacom version. They sent me this tablet years ago. This is their Intuos Medium Pro. Comparatively for size, I'm gonna use this as the comparison to the Deco Fund that XP Pen sent me, even though I don't think that's a completely fair comparison because this is supposed to be a higher end non-screen tablet. I do like this tablet a lot. I think when Wacom sent this to me, it was about $450. Not the cheapest tablet, but this is a very good uh, non-screen tablet that I have been enjoying over the years, especially when I'm traveling because I could just chuck this in a backpack and it does have about the same footprint as my laptop. So I could stack these two things together and it it's good to go. Between holding the Deco Fun and the Entowas, there's definitely a weight difference. The Deco Fun does feel very, very light. It does also feel not as solid. Let me start this off by saying that even though this tablet over here, like I mentioned, is $450, I went online because I was kind of curious. I didn't know anything about this tablet. I was really shocked to find out that this tablet is $50. $49.99. Now that I have used it for a little bit, I probably would say, yes, this is the tablet I recommend to people who are just getting into digital art. They don't wanna put a whole lot of money into investing in it until they really kind of know whether or not they wanna pursue this. This is the perfect price point and probably a good size for that. The tablet does come in several colors. I don't know how the important that is to people. I picked apple green because I do like mint, but they also come in classic black, base blue, and carmine red. This tablet is definitely lighter. It doesn't feel as solid as an Intuos, and I'm, I'm not really sure what this thing is right here. There's no buttons or anything. There's a little light that tells you when the pen is touching it, but this must have, I don't know, like the electronics on board that that make this thing go. The Intuos has more padding around the, um, I guess the bezel, because the Intuos has the onboard buttons that I don't know about you, oh, they're on this side. I don't know about you, but I never use these. I only ever use the wheel if it's included, but I almost always just disable these as soon as I get the tablet. So this right here, this real estate is pretty much pointless to me. If you do use the onboard buttons for a, like a thing like this, this, this may not be very fun for you because <laughs> There's nothing on here aside from the tablet surface. There is a cord, I think you can, let me just double check to see if you can plug this in the other way. Yeah, you can choose which way it goes, but yeah, there is a cord on here and they do give you a lot of length on this. I don't know, in case you wanna draw far away. Cool. I think the first thing that I'm gonna say that's kind of negative about this tablet, it's this pen. It does feel really hollow. It doesn't have a lot of weight. When you do compare it to a Wacom pen, a Wacom pen feels heavier. It feels balanced in its weight. It does have the grip on it. That's kind of nice on your fingers. The buttons feel really solid. The issue with the XP pen is it feels cheap. You can feel the flashing on it where it was melded together. This pen does feel cheap in a way like I got this for free at a bank and I completely forgot about it and threw it in a cup and one day later on I found it and I'm like where'd this come from and I almost want to throw it away. How much can you really expect for $50? This doesn't require any batteries. It's nice because you don't have to change them out or charge it. Honestly, after using this for a couple of hours, who cares, right? After like five minutes, I'm not even thinking about this pen anymore or the weight or whatever else. This isn't really a big negative to me. I'd say that if you are someone who would prefer to have an eraser, this does not have one. It does not have an eraser tip like you would expect in a Wacom, but again, who cares? I, I don't use that. I'm sure if you do use that, there's probably a workaround for you. The next thing I wanna mention is that the surface 
got a little bit of a texture to it. So as you draw on it, you feel a bit of a grip. And this is different than say something like an Intuos, like this guy over here. The Intuos has a very smooth surface to it. And even more smooth is the Cintiq. The Cintiq is something where it just feels like a, a piece of glass because that's exactly what it is. Actually is one of the complaints a lot of people have when they move up to a Cintiq. They just remark on how smooth the surface is and how slick it is and they actually don't like it too much. So this is one of those things where I don't think it's a negative. I actually think it's a positive that this actually has a little bit of a grip. It does have tooth to it the way you'd expect to have like paper have tooth to it. So if you are just getting into digital after working with traditional, this is going to feel a little more like paper because it does have a bit of a bite on the pen than you would expect on something like a Cintiq does. Pressure sensitivity is of course one of the most important aspects of owning a tablet because you wanna make sure that you can control how opaque a line is or how thick it is depending on how you have it set up for your drawing program. Here I have the pressure sensitivity set to opacity. So as I push harder, things will become more opaque. And as I let go on that hardness, it will become lighter and lighter still. A pretty good level of pressure sensitivity. Now I'm gonna go ahead and test that again with my stylus on my Cintiq. And I'll go ahead and back off and ease in on it. And honestly, I'm not really sure that I can feel a difference. Maybe there's a little bit more accuracy in my Cintiq and I would hope so. It's an expensive tablet. For $50, this level of pressure sensitivity, I think it works just fine. So the next thing I want to test out is how accurate is it? I usually test a tablet's accuracy by writing out the alphabet or writing my name over and over. That's really how I kind of see whether or not this is easy for me to use. And you know, this is a great tablet for accuracy. Again, I'm going to try to test it out with my Cintiq. And I'm not sure that this is a totally fair comparison because the Cintiq is a screen tablet. This is not a screen tablet, but just because this is the easiest thing for me to do. I'm going to go ahead and write it out the way that I, I would normally here. And again, you know, it just feels like it's about the same. I'll acknowledge that this is not a screen tablet. So there is a little bit of abstraction between looking at the screen and my hand being somewhere else versus the Cintiq. That's pretty much all I can really say about the tablet as far as how I feel about it. I think if you are getting serious about digital painting, you may explore going into a Wacom. XP Pen may have a higher end tablet that's right for you if it's a cost effective tool. I think that that's the most important thing that you should prioritize here. This is a $50 tablet. It doesn't seem like much of an investment to try it out and see if this is right for you. I did notice that on XP Pen's website where they talk about this tablet that they have easy ways to connect it to your phone, um, iOS and Android, and apparently also the iPad. So it's fun that they make it easy to connect to your phone. Software that you use for the drivers to get this there, it's really easy too. I did have a little bit of problems getting the pressure sensitivity to work. I'm on a Mac and I'm not sure how many of the security features on my Mac were kind of tampering with that, but all it required is that I reboot and it started working like normal. And after that, I haven't had any problems with it. So I spent about two hours drawing this Fennec Fox mascot that apparently is the mascot for XP Pen. I, I just didn't have a subject to draw and I thought the mascot looked cute. So we just worked on this for two hours using just this tablet to make that drawing. And after like the first 15 minutes, of course, it's a different tablet, it's a different way to draw. It's not my, my normal Cintiq. I, forgot that I was using something different, so that should say a lot about the tablet. After using it for those two hours, this is definitely something I would recommend to someone if they were just getting started out. But yeah, not a bad tablet. I have only had experience using Wacom tablets, and yeah, Wacom tablets, they're expensive. I always feel a little guilty making a recommendation to buy a Wacom tablet. And I don't like to suggest anything I don't have any experience on. So in that way, I'm really happy that XP Pen sent me this tablet so that I could give it a, my honest review because they're not paying me to say great things about the tablet. They just literally sent me the tablet and said, hey, can you give this a shot and tell people what you think of it? Now I have this opportunity to try out a different tablet when I probably wouldn't have bought this on my own. That is my review of the XP Pen Deco Fun tablet. Thank you so much to XP Pen for sending this tablet to me and giving me an opportunity to review it. It was very nice to actually get to use another tablet that it's not in the Wacom family. And so again, a big shout out to XP Pen for providing it. Hopefully this review was helpful for you and we'll see you in the next video. Oh,